So this week we're looking at different areas of the body that are commonly injured. So today is a little bit of a focus on lower back and um, we'll have potentially a different region every day or we might stick with the same region for a couple days. Um, with the lower back, there's many different reasons why someone might get an injury there. And it may not just be physical stuff. There could be like um, psychosocial stuff. So maybe just the stress of a certain situation that's come about can sensitize your back. Maybe you've had a previous injury there. Maybe you've just developed some you know, movement patterns around that area that aren't able to cope with new things that you try to do. There's many, many, many reasons. And the exercise we're doing today kind of casts a wide net, but if it doesn't help your pain, it just means you need a different, you know, a different intervention, a different attack on ways to reduce the pain. So this particular exercise is useful for controlling the spine. And if we look at sort of a big, this is a big pelvis, and then we've got the lower back, you're going to have muscles that connect maybe one, or you're going to have muscles that maybe connect three, or you're going to have muscles maybe that connect all five together. And the bigger and longer the muscles are, the more compression and tension they create on the spine. And the smaller ones, they kind of spread the load a little bit. It's kind of like the mast on a, uh, on a sailboat. Look at the big lines coming down like this. If they're pulling down, they're going to create a lot of compression. So you've got these other lines and these lines coming across, and then you've got little lines coming off. And they just help spread the load about. So what this exercise does is it teaches you, kind of forces you, puts you in a position where these uh, sort of shorter muscles have to react. And the bigger muscles aren't as, uh, they're involved, but just not as involved. Um, and key things I'd push is that don't try too hard. Make sure you can breathe. And um, don't try to, to over contract because otherwise you might create more compression and more tension. We're just looking for a sense of, I can do this, but with minimal effort. I can still talk, I can hold a conversation um, and just find a sense of ease with the movement. So with this exercise, um, we're gonna give you a couple options for progression. Don't feel like you have to push through pain. Please don't push through pain. Um, if you get any discomfort, then just maybe get a mirror nearby so you can double check your technique. Usually that's the underlying issue. And the goal here is really trying to build some endurance. So you're going to really be trying to last sort of short bouts for long periods. So you might be doing like a 10 second hold and you're going to try and do like 15 to 20 of those. From this angle, the goal eventually is that you can get your knees wider than your hands. For some of you, you may need to start in line width, but eventually you're looking to be out here. And we'll show you a couple other angles to talk about technique, but when you're in this position, you're just gonna start off with one leg going back, and then as the hand comes forward, and what you're trying to not allow happen is no shifting. So if I were to raise this leg, don't shift over to the other leg. If I was gonna raise over here, don't shift over to this hand. It's like nothing else moves except those limbs. You notice I'm not going crazy high. I'm just going high enough that it challenges my balance. That's the goal here. From the side, you're looking to get that kind of S shape. If you're not sure how to do that, someone can get a little roller and you might have different uh, length of arms, but find something that touches your chest and then try to not let your chest touch it. So that it keeps your chest up like this. And then the lower back's gonna arch a little bit, so don't have it tucked under this way. And then when you go, you push out. As you get wider, you should be able to keep your balance pretty comfortably. <laughs> 